What's up, Jackson Wilkie with the original Living in Houston, Texas team. Welcome back to another Saturday morning show. I've got something special for you today. The very first custom home builder that is building in master plan communities all around Houston. We've showed you Perry Homes, Highland Homes, Weston Homes, all these incredible houses. But never, ever in the history have we ever or anybody showed you custom builders. And I'm not talking about flooring, paint colors, or cabinets. This is knocking out walls, customizing bathrooms. Craziest thing I've ever seen. We completely stumbled upon it. So in today's video, JoJo and myself take you into two different products by this builder where you can 100% control the entire building process of your beautiful home. And you're not going to have to spend millions of dollars to do it. In fact, they're some of the most affordable prices I have ever seen. Let's head out there and go check out the first house. So we are out here in the new section of Meridiana. There's going to be another four to 5,000 homes out here. We will explain why we feel like this area hasn't grown as quickly as some of the others, but why here in the next year or two, it's gonna explode. So here in just all of these model homes, you will see there is Chesmar, there is Perry, all of the main ones. But today, Jojo, we found us a new one. What is it, homie? Right here, you have the absolutely elegant and gorgeous Dries home. So this is something that's a little <laughs> bit different, Jojo. These it is. are fully customizable. And this is what, the 65 foot product? This is the 65 foot product. And just as you mentioned, Jackson, what makes this very unique and special about this builder is that it's fully customizable to move around walls or anything you want to the imagination on the inside of the house where you couldn't get that in a sub 700 market. Oh man, well, let's go in and see what this place looks like, Jojo. And this section is way below the 700. I'm just speaking even on the step up houses that they offer we'll out here. We'll tell them the price a little bit. Shock yeah, them. We don't need no price right up no. front. We really need to check it out. And as usual, Jackson, come on, yeah. work your way in. So right away to the right here, you got your study, your office. Yep, you have your study traditionally still as uh, the foyer right here. And then you have the bedrooms down its own private hallway. Cool. Well, let's take them into where they love to well, see. Well, where's the favorite place for most people is they want to see the kitchen before they explore the rest. If the kitchen works, then the rest of the house gets explored, right? Exactly. But wait, wait, I see something first. What's over here? What's over here is another hallway to the utility room. Okay, hold on a minute. Look at that thing. So that is really nice. You get the laundry right here. So you kind of have the main office out to the front, but you can have, you know, another, what, study something in here? A, a study or a secondary office space. However, this works good, like for children and teenagers and everything that, like, I have teenagers. It works well for them to come in here and do homework and be secluded and while got, still being able to keep an eye on them, right? And you got your, uh, but for JoJo, it'd be your podcast beat laboratory. Yeah, this is high tech stuff. So this <laughs> definitely would work. Keep me right up there with the best. Yeah. So right away when you come in, it, it does have that luxury feeling to it. Again, it's fully customizable. So we're going to really, you know, uh, knock your socks off when we see the bigger product here in a little bit. But even this one here at the 65 foot, when we show you the price that you start at, plus what you can do customizable in here, it's just something like we've never seen here in Houston. But now, Jojo, we gotta show them I mean, that. Th this, this right here, I know we've seen a lot of floor plans that are always the kitchen and open to the living area, but look at the cathedral ceilings and the options that you have to for the details to put up there. I mean, this hits you from the kitchen to the living area as far as all these windows over here, sliders, you know, just the vaulted ceilings, uh, the fireplace feature. Yep. And then this kitchen, what's so unique about it is not only that you have a big island here with the sink, but look how it, it just flows all the way over here, Jackson, with the double ovens tucked to the side, yep. which is really nice because then you even have more space here and the microwave out of the way. So it really gives a nice presentation and elegance to, to the main part of the kitchen. Yeah, and they put a bunch of their coffee makers and appliances over there out of the way so that your counters aren't just covered with them here. Isn't so that nice when you have coffee tucked away from yep. the side than having it right here in the middle of the kitchen? Yeah, we were at uh, in Woodland Hills at the Perry house and they had this big, almost like barn dominium style, but you know, it was the 80 foot lot. You got to pay a fortune for it. So again, we're going to talk about the price here of the 65 foot lot, but real quick, Jojo, what did he mention when we talked to him? This is fully customizable. Tell him what they were able to do with like some of these walls, bathrooms. Yeah, so currently right now, we, we were just in discussions on what type of customizations that they do for the home. Take example for this wall right here, as beautiful as it is with these row of windows, they had one client that came in and asked for this to be pushed back in order to expand more of this family and entertaining area. Yep, so you got your big dining room kind of offset here. I mean, that is 
especially, you know, it's single level plan right here, but tell them what else they can do with this floor plan. Okay, so <laughs> I was thinking the primary bedroom because that no, is no, a very no, we'll major get there. feature. However, yes, this floor plan right here, as elegant as it is, this can go to a second floor option. All right, so we'll go show that primary room, but you do have a, a big covered patio and it's vaulted too. So it comes right off of the roof line, as you can see here. This roof line, which is so tall, 20 something, it's gotta be 20 feet tall up here, continues down. So when you go out, you've got this huge vaulted ceiling out there, as well as, you know, your uh, grill, sink, everything built in. So next, what we gotta do. Well, look what I'm gonna do, Jackson. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, the, I'm gonna put the ruler to it. Ruler? Look at this. Yes. Guys, Watch, I'm gonna go right here. Device. We're gonna drop the How pin. How tall is this? We're gonna drop the pin right here to get this question answered once and for all. It's probably gonna be nine feet. It's saying 18, so you're right around 18, 19 feet. That's awesome. Well, the good news is, feels like it's 20 feet tall. <laughs> now, before we go into the, the main bedroom, what else do we got? Your favorite, JoJo. Well, right before we go into the most amazing space over there, we have a game room downstairs. This is awesome. I love it. I do not have to stress these knees walking up <laughs> the stairs. I get to enjoy it with the kids. Yep, right here on the main level. And the cool one, this has actually, unlike we've never seen before, some built-ins here. So again, fully customizable. You can put what you want, you know, in these spaces, but you got the uh, the cooler there, the big walk-in movie theater. Yeah, they like to highlight what's possible here. And then mm -hmm. there's a lot more creativity that can go on in here as well. Let's go check out that main one. All right, well, come on. Over and it here. has something different too that we haven't seen. The it first did. thing you see. Not just the wide doors. However, you're invited in and then voila. So right away, you hit that master bathroom. Yes. You can see how big and wide these doors are too. You know, that's what I was I was letting you know earlier, Jackson, is like, I mean, this is just super <laughs> wide. I mean, to stretch my arm all the way out, it's really, it, actually, it's really nice to have this space in here. <laughs> so you've got the uh, enough space for the tub, the shower, and then check this out. This is awesome. You've got a giant walk-in closet. One thing that when we were talking to him too, he says it's fully customizable is as long as you're basically staying in the shell, you can do whatever. So he had a gal who came in, didn't like the way that the bathroom was set up on some of the floor plans. She completely gutted it through uh, the, the computer and designed her own bathroom. And there is no additional cost to that. So you can really customize these houses. It isn't just there's a bunch of different floor plans and you can tweak colors. You can go in and have private consultations with Joe and their builder and then design the house you want. So this particular, here's uh, the primary bedroom piece where you have the, the king size bed. As you can see, there's still lots of space. They have a lot of clean corners in, in this type of house, but also think about customization. This right here, they could push out and do a bay window. You just leave it open to the imagination of what you're wanting to design to make that feel like home. Before we get to that, I also wanted to share Although this is highly customizable, if you don't have the imagination or just don't have the time for it, they build out a pre-made product that's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and he said there's seven different ones that you can choose from that are already done. Pre-selected. So right here, what Lance was talking about is there's 25,000 cash incentive. And what that means to the consumer is that they're, th this particular builder allows them to use that towards buying down points and closing costs and so forth. For half of a it, he said, you, it. yep. And the other part, portion of it, he can say for just reducing the for price reducing of the, the house. Price. So they allocate a certain amount and then the other amount they can reduce the price or upgrades in the home. So this house base price, and then do they already have some houses ready for quick move in? They do have a quick move in sheet that gets updated regularly. And right now they do have a handful of them. And one of them, Jackson, they all, they have nearly right under a half acre lot available. Dang. So what's the base price for this house right here? Base price is going to be in the high fives, around 575 base price, and then you put in all the upgrades uh, and you push into the sixes. 500,000 fully customizable. So yes, you're going to be pushing probably up in the 600s. You can use some of the flex cash to lower interest rates, take some of the value off of that price. So these style houses that you see usually are in that $800,000, $900,000 range, but you're going to be starting base price 500 and have the ability to customize it yourself but we're gonna show you an even bigger house, shocking low prices. We gotta head over to that one next. Hey, real quick, everyone, can I please, please, please ask you for one thing? Can you right now hit that like button? If you look right here, 
I asked you guys a couple videos to hit the like button and you gave me over a thousand likes and that got us out to over 48,000 people so far. I moved here too and my goal was making the single greatest videos on planet earth so that you never had to figure out where to live like I did. I moved to the wrong spot. The only thing I ask, cause we work so hard every week and use all that time and money and gas money is you just hit that like button for us and share this video with anybody that is even thinking about moving to Houston, Texas. Thank you for the like, y'all. All right, so not only me and our team help you, we have great relationships, as you see, with these sales reps out in the communities that specialize in the, their specific product. Like Lance, for example, he helped us out, loves working with us, and that's how they are all around the city. So the big misconception is, is that builders do not work with real estate agents. However, they're on every sign-in card and it doesn't cost the consumer any extra fees, commissions, or anything over to the consumer. It's all through the marketing budget of the builder. Now, we've got two more surprises for you in this video. First of all, we're gonna show you what the 80-foot lot. In fact, they build a house on a 100-foot lot. We've never seen that in Houston, Texas. We're gonna show you that and it's a completely custom house and it is way cheaper than you would ever imagine. So stay tuned to that. Plus, you guys always ask us, where are the best $300,000 homes, $400,000 homes? I'm gonna take you inside a house just over $300,000 that is two stories, absolutely gorgeous. But first, why are people loving this area? Well, it's got not one, but two incredible community centers. So let's go check out that first one real quick. So we popped in here to the welcoming center. So this is right when you get into Meridiana, what you see here and visually appealing is pretty cool because what you have just out here as you can see is a big park already and just driving in within a quarter mile half mile you see multiple parks not only in throughout the community but on the the lakes there's a lot of lakes around here and so you do have you know full basketball courts and a pool and a whole gym full of people working out right now so you have this but what we're going to show you in a little bit is when we went into the welcoming center we're like why is so many people moving out here and she says the new adventure park that they put in here is so next level people are loving it another thing too we, we've started to notice in a lot of these communities some of them are just building the schools but this one has an original phase plan that's already built out and then all the new stuff is a little deeper in here which we're going to go show but it, you do have schools already built in here so behind me here now we're on the back side of the building that's the workout facility and they have a full lap pool in there so that you can actually get your swimming in without having more of the splash pad style which is over here and pool for more of the kiddos and the overwhelming thing that you see here which is really cool still a lot of trees a lot of green and lakes hey look at the big bucket just dumped water there so really cool splash pad for the kiddos i just got back from cancun my kids spent every single day in an you know a play area just like that right there but you do got the pool and the lounger chairs in it and a full lake back over here plus baseball fields you got four diamonds back there oh and you have your own cafe soul right there for some food nice and close okay so before we go into the stretched spacious luxury home right next door. I wanted to highlight this area, Jackson. The reason being on this cul-de-sac, you'll notice that many of the builders we showcased as far as Highland Home, Perry Homes, Chesmar Homes, these right here are starting in the 300s. And as you saw one of them, they even offer a spacious yard for the lot size that they're putting on that particular home. And just wanted to highlight this area out here, just so you know, I, my grandparents and that family members lived out here for many, many years. Uh, just a few minutes up the road in Angleton on about 40 to 50 acres of land. When I would come to visit them, none of this area existed. So this is an explosive growth. You have the new HEB that we passed by under new construction on Highway 6 right here. You don't have to go into Pearland anymore for the town center and all the entertainment as far as restaurants and shopping because they're going to have the Manville Town Center now. So they actually have three different cul-de-sacs here with all the show homes ranging from here the 40 foot lots all the way up to 80 and there is with the Dries home which we're going to go in the availability to get it with a 100 foot lot and yes we have never seen that in houston so what i wanted to do real quick is we're going to get in that house but you just have to see this this is a house starting in the low three hundred thousand dollar price range now what joe was talking about with the bigger lot size is that you're what they actually are doing is making sure that you have at least seven to eight feet of fence and side yard on the side of your house for all of these homes and your neighbor will have the same. So instead of your roof lines basically touching, you're gonna have a minimum of at least 15 feet of space. So the one thing I've noticed, no matter how big or small the lot size is here in Meridiana, they all have bigger yards. So I'll show you real quick inside here what you get starting in that low 300,000. So as you can see, you've got a great central 
area here with the living space, the kitchen, and the master bedroom in the back. Upstairs, you're gonna have two bedrooms and you'll have a full game room. You can see the height right when you walk in, which is really cool. And you do have nice tile floors. It will come with all of your appliances. They are offering some other incentives and you get a really good sized master bath or bedroom when you walk in and bathroom as well with the full big walk-in shower or you can get the tub. And just so that you can see the face of these houses, you got your Highland, your Coventry Homes, David Weekly. We've done a lot of these and Perry. So these are all gonna be your 40 foot lots, uh, the smallest that they have available here in the Meridiana area. And then there is the one that we just got out of. So two story home right there. And you'll see that, I mean, they still have great, amazing uh, curb appeal and then you're gonna be able to stretch that budget. But now what we're gonna do is hop over. You can actually see the back of the house there. I can't wait to see this fully customizable house. Now real quick, I gotta show you on the map where we're talking about and you actually have to see this. This is inside that welcome center that we were just at. Just to show you inside of it, you can actually see that you can hold private parties there. It has a really nice gym. It was filled with people using it, which was cool. And you also have obviously that lake and a community center here, as well as a cafe right there. So you got a lot of things uh, coming, but here's what's important. If we go to the map here, you're gonna see, I've got a pin dropped exactly where we're at today. So you're gonna notice that it is pretty far south of Houston, Texas. In fact, we were in one of the cul-de-sac shooting and one of you guys came running down, you know who you are, and you said, hey, what's up, Jojo Jackson? We watch all your videos. He was coming here to work uh, at some of the plants down south and it was a perfect spot for him because this is really one of the only new master plant communities if you want to be in this south area and not over in the Sugarland area. So anything over, you know, to the east of here, you're gonna have to go over probably off the 45 to get into like Balmoral, or you go up north to Pearland or Friendswood, which are already completely developed out. So this is really the only one. The main reason people love it is because it is such a quick drive into the medical center, into downtown. It is very quick. In fact, there is actually a, uh, a lane here, a toll road on 288 that you can take where you don't have to get in any of the traffic. So it's the quickest drive into, you know, medical center and downtown. But the other big, big thing that's gonna happen is you have the 99 tollway, which we talk about all the time, right? That is what made most of these like Cypress, Tomball, the Woodlands so freaking popular in Houston because when the 99 came, all the new restaurants, the shops, the bars, everything you need, plus the ability to get anywhere quick, well, it's coming and it's supposed to be coming right through Iowa Colony area and right through Meridiana. Meridiana. So you're gonna now have all of that coming in, all of your shopping, you'll be getting in early, plus you do have right here where uh, Highway 6 comes in, a brand new HEB, which is the biggest one I've ever seen. And you might be like, Jackson, I don't care. What, why are you talking like that? Because if you go out there, you know, in the last six months, year, you don't really have much shopping or things to do. So you did have to go up into Friendswood. All of that is coming. And everybody that was out there said, wait till that 99 comes in and wait till this HEB. Everybody's going to be moving out here. There's another 4,500 homes going in this master plan community. And I'm going to show you one of the amenities that they already having which makes it an unprecedented resort style community plus you'll notice on the map right here we've got an elementary school it's got a junior high school it's also got a high school and it's got another elementary school coming i can't make this stuff up you are going to find some of the most affordable prices that you will find in houston texas right here at Meridiana. And before I show you the most gorgeous, completely custom house for a fraction of the price, you gotta see this other resort style amenity. So another big reason that so many people are moving out here is because of the newest feature that has been completely finalized. So you've got a massive swim park. You have the big hammocks here. I mean, this swim park has a lazy river. It's got a wave pool, surf pool, and you also have this big facility here, another workout facility. And so the other cool part too, is you have all of your schools are here already. Again, some of these master plan communities, they're, they're in the process of building them. Here, you have elementary, you have a middle school, which is right here, this massive one. And then you have the high school. The good news is with another 4,000 homes coming, they are building a second elementary and everything is already built out here. 
It just didn't quite have the shopping and infrastructure yet, which is all coming. In fact, the HEB will be here this month and then all the shops, restaurants, bars, and the 99 tollway will be coming through this route as well. So when that happens, just like Bridgeland, Town Lake, Cypress, all those areas, you are going to see this place absolutely erupt. So seeing some of the introductory prices we've seen already and we're gonna show you and the builder incentives, this is the time to get in and not only have one, but two amazing recreation centers. All right, here we are in the massive, big, no. Wait, Joe. What? It's too wide, I gotta, I gotta step back a little bit. This is a massive house, Joe Joe. It is, it's classy, it's really nice. I absolutely love the entry of it with the French doors. It's super wide. Come on in over here on this home and I wanna tell you something that's very unique to this home because we walk in a lot of homes like you saw last week in that big old gigantic tri-point home. Well, this street's home that's customizable has 4,000 plus square feet on a single level. Now the cool part about this is, is this is the 80 foot section. So as you can see here, um, the, the Shea homes over here, which we might have to go in that one too, and Perry homes as well. Um, they have these massive lots, but this is the only builder, not only in this plan, but I don't think we've seen it anywhere in Houston. They actually can do this on a hundred foot lot. They actually have a few of those still available and they're pushing really hard to get a whole new section of them because they're selling that fast. So if you want that massive lot and house and wait till you see the prices, oh boy. And last time in this prices, they had some uh, homes in uh, Cypress that were on the 100 plus lots, but those closed out during, you know, two years ago. Yep. Come on in, Jackson, have Oof. a look around. This baby is tall, wide, and handsome. Okay, so right when you come in, I think one of the coolest things right here, Joe, is you've got this awesome office. Would you think that there's probably gonna be some French doors or something here? Well, obviously you can leave it open like this and then being customizable, you can do any option and size width door that you want. But look What's at really that. nice here is you have a private entrance off to the side of the main entry. Yep, or it's actually the middle of October and we're finally not 100,000 degrees. You could actually maybe pop those open and catch some And have fresh a cup air. of coffee. There you go. So we did miss when we came in. This is cool, again, four, over 4,000 square foot. You do have Kind of an in-law suite here, huh, Joe? Yep, you have a nice in-law suite. Good size, with a full walk-in uh, bathroom. You've and walk-in closet. Yep, and walk-in closet and shower. So lots of space right away and utilization of the space, but let's go show them. And I like this because you have, you know, the entry right here. Look at how you have a window here that overlooks the front yep. covered patio in front of the study. Just imagine sitting there getting old with the wifey there, Joe. Yep, okay. and this overstretched house right here, look at the vaulted ceilings in here. You have the details in the ceiling, the exposed beams, massive kitchen. These have even higher height on the cabinet space. You just don't have 42 inch cabinets. They actually stack another level above it. Still have this famous sliding door that everybody loves. Yep, now look at this from the other angle here. So it's pretty cool, you kind of have your own wet bar area there and the, the kitchen with the even bigger custom island right there. Now, Jojo, we were talking to them and they did something a little bit custom here. We can show them right away with the patio, All what right. they did there, and then we'll have to surprise them at the end, at the end of the house there. At the end of the house? Well, come on, let's go. Okay. So I wanted to come out and check this out real quick. You obviously get this bigger, wide lot right here. So you got the fire pit right here, but the cool thing is we're I'm about broke my ankle. We're, where JoJo's standing there. Again, this is fully customizable, and what we mentioned in the first house was bumping everything out. So you will notice right here that this wall is bumped out an extra six feet, and so is that patio right there. So they decided on this floor plan, they wanted a bigger covered patio, and in that room, we gotta go show you what's in there. They wanted to extend that six feet. So having not only the ability to, again, customize inside, you can customize the outside. what you see, JoJo? You know, I know we've shared this before. However, in any type of home you buy, whether it's this big or even a lot less, always if you have the option to get pre-plumbed gas, it ties into this and you don't ever have to change out your, your tanks anymore. There you go. The barbecue 24 seven. All right, Jojo, let's come back in here and go show them around the corner before we get into the master bedroom. All right, well, come on in. You wanna go around this so way? It's so cool how they vaulted these ceilings, put the exposed beams, you got a full Wet bar over there. All right, Jojo, let's go. And I, you haven't even seen this yet, so shock value 1,000 okay, right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come Let on, me walk Jojo. in. That is pretty cool. Huh? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that though, so now. No, no like, this is really cool. Yep. You know the shock factor here, Jackson, it's not that you have all this on the first floor. 
It's my eyes when I looked this direction right yep. here. It seems that you have a full bedroom. You do. And you have a game room with everything, but it's not going to be in the movie room. That's going to be separate. Yeah. So obviously you can do what you want with this space, but. This is a complete livable space because you yep. have the game room, you have a theater entertainment room as well. And then you have a full bedroom over here across the way. So this is pretty cool. All right, we got the uh, movie theater, the chairs going right here. But if you're like the ultimate sports enthusiast or whatever, you got even more TVs going over here. Another full, you know, bar, hangout area. So they bumped this out, this wall right here, six feet. So it would be basically where the black line is, but they've pushed it out and you have that ability to do so to get even more TVs, get a bigger bar over in that space or whatever. I really like how they showcased separate more TVs you know mm -hmm. some of you guys out there just like multiple sports playing at the same time that's me although it would probably be for me multiple different Coco Melon shows going <laughs> and then yeah here's another bedroom right here next to the game room with a full bath with a full bath you got a walk-in closet there howdy y'all and again tall ceiling so these are super super tall ceiling and what's down the hallway Jackson well, well it on. actually goes a couple different routes here. So you have a half okay. bath here? Yep, your half bath for the game room, movie room. Not only are you looking at an amazing utility room, look at everything it has. They even encase the refrigerator there. Yep, and you have, once you come in from the garage, you know, an area, again, to discard the backpacks, the shoes, away from the kitchen. Plenty of cabinet space. But, but look over here, another surprise. Jeez. The bedrooms. And I would, what, you know, I would like to... Um, um, here we go again. You're going to put me again. Cut. <laughs> no, really what I'd like to share is that if you notice, all the bedrooms are completely spread out. They're not in one row. It's not separate from the primary. These are all strategically yep. situated to have their own privacy. I love it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It does really separate everybody. It gives them their own kind of quadrant of the house. So the other cool part is when you come into this kitchen here, now we just went in, they got a little meeting going, but they've got a big walk-in pantry here so you don't have to have everything again out in the kitchen okay jojo now we got to go show them that master main bedroom i gotta let you walk through here so they can see how big it is go send it joe look at that we can play football in here before we walk in here another thing we wanted to talk about is as you see this house and you were even talking about it earlier jackson how you have the front load garage space yep. so that really stretches this home out However, there is a slightly smaller plan that they call it the cousin uh, plan as well because it's similar, but the garage is situated on the side, so you come around through the side on it. Gotcha. And this right here, it seems to be a very staple of this builder is the way they build in the, you know, the inviting part to the primary room and then you have the master. Yeah, you have no vision of it from the actual bedroom, so it's completely separated. But yeah, because a lot of times you go into the bedroom, you walk into the bedroom, you'll make a left and then turn around and walk into the primary bath, or it's going to be on the back side. So this one's really nice that it has a hallway entry and then you're presented into the uh, primary bath before the main bedroom. Yep. And this one's closet is headed back towards this way. And it is even bigger with two separate sides here. And obviously you'll get ready. So you can check out your Jordan 1s right there, you know, before you go. All right, let's go out and see how much room we got in the room. This is, uh, this is a lot of room. You relax in here, Joe. Oh man, I could toss the Mr. Rogers show right here. <laughs> I, I do like that. I mean, they have details. They got all different levels to the roof. Um, you know, it seems behind the bed, they've got a bunch of different detail and stuff. So they're really putting a lot into these houses, Joe. They are, it's really nice. All right, Joe, Joe, we gotta do one thing. We gotta go show What's them. What's that? what the price points are. There's a bunch of different plans. And you were talking about that yes. cousin house and what it goes for, so. Yeah, so they, they are always accommodating. They love to work with us and they came and left us the inventory sheets. This is usually how it goes most of the time is they'll have it prepped for us. You have the 80 foot and the amazing 100 foot sections. 100 footer. So the one we're standing in right now this is This is what? called the Layton. Gotcha. And the base price is, drum roll please, Okay, so the 100 foot section, they start right at the 700 base price, which is an amazing for 4,000 plus square feet. However, they have the amazing 80 foot wide product for right at under the sub 700. And just to give you a little context, most of the master plan communities that we've showcased around the city in Cypress, Woodlands, uh, Conroe, uh, down to Sienna, the 80 foot sections start 
above 700. And then if you don't need that much space, but you absolutely love this house, you can go down to the Lauren and it's sub 700, 688 right now in 2023, Jackson. What you're gonna see on that difference, if you do not need the three car garage, you can go over to that two car garage. And that's really only sacrificing. You're still getting the high ceilings. You're still getting the architectural style, the elegance, the luxury of this type of house. So the one thing we've noticed going in and out of these houses for Dries is they obviously just really second to none customizable, you know, floor plans and being able to do, you know, exactly what you want to do with a house. Sit down with Joe and sit down with a representative of the actual Dries team and draw out your floor plans or they already have some available for you to get an eye or an ideal on. But you know, to go into all of these houses from north, south, east, west, all over Houston and to see 4,000 square foot, 80 foot lots, you know, homes, they're usually starting in that base price, that 800 stretching up into the million plus. But here, I mean, they're very excited to have this product down here in the Meridiana starting in the upper 600,000. So you have a lot of opportunities here. And then, uh, of course, you know, with the 65 foot lots, which is still a massive over 3,000 square foot house, you can do the same thing, you know, and start in that $500,000 range. All right, I get it. Meridiana, it might be a little bit too far south or it could be absolutely perfect for you. But the good news is I have made the single greatest videos of Houston, Texas that you will ever find. They're in this playlist right here. You find the area that you're thinking about moving to and I've made the greatest video ever. Go check these out and watch them all and then we'll be hearing from you soon.